There are definitely pros and cons to having a real estate license as an investor, but in today's video, I'm gonna be specifically going over the benefits of having your license as a real estate investor. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Justin Wrong, and I'm in the Future Flipper coaching program where I'm building my house flipping business. The first benefit to having your license is getting the ability to use the MLS to calculate ARV. Now, there's a lot of things in there. So what I wanna say first, what the MLS is, the MLS is basically the multiple listing service. It's where all the realtors go to list the homes. So when people think of the market, think of all the homes on the MLS. Like typically when people go to buy homes, most like homeowners who are trying to live in there, are looking for homes on the MLS. So they're working with realtors, with other realtors who list these homes for sale. So that's what the MLS is. If you are a realtor, you get access to the MLS. So you get access to all the data that the MLS has to offer, which is a lot of data. It's basically the best place to look at, in my opinion, and in a lot of other people's opinions, to determine comps for ARVs for homes. And I know that's that might be confusing to you, but basically what the MLS has and it has all the sold data for all these homes. And for all these homes that have recently sold, they essentially become comparable homes for any home that you're trying to analyze. So for example, what I mean by that is, let's say you find a home and you wanna flip this house, right? But to flip this house, you gotta first determine what to offer on it. And when you're determining what to offer on a home, usually you have to find something called an ARV, an after repair value. It's basically the value of whatever a home is gonna be worth after you fix it up. And it's like, hey, what the heck is this home gonna be worth after I fix it up? And the way you figure out how to determine ARV is you have to use something called comps or comparable homes. And comps or comparable homes, they're essentially any homes that have recently sold that are in similar condition in the similar area, similar layout to the home that you're comparing to, except it's in better condition, like it's a nicer condition. So for example, let's say you're trying to find or determine the ARV for a particular home. And this house is a three bedroom home, it's got two bathrooms, it's a thousand square feet, and you're like, okay, it's beat up. So I don't know if we're able to fix this home up, like what's it gonna be worth after? And you take this home and you find, like maybe you search in the neighborhood, okay, what's a comparable home to this that has recently sold? So maybe sold in the last three months, last six months. What's recently sold that's a similar layout, similar bedroom count, similar bathroom count, similar square footage inside, similar square footage on the lot size, like similar everything except you're looking for something that's fixed up, so maybe more modern. And maybe you find one that's like, hey, this is like, this looks exactly like this home, except it's just fixed up. And if you find something like that, you see, okay, what does it sell for? So maybe you're like, okay, this home, this fixed up home sold for $300,000. Then you know that if you fix up this home up to that condition, you could probably demand a price of $300,000 when you go to sell the home after you fix it up. So the MLS is the best place to determine these comps because these this is where all the data is. When most people go to list their homes, their most house flippers are gonna list their homes for sale after they fix it up. Most of the time, they're gonna be using the MLS. So they're gonna be selling the home on the MLS. So they need MLS data to get the most accurate number to estimate what they can actually sell it for before they even buy the property. And there's a lot of other sites that you can use to, I guess, determine the ARV, but it's not gonna be as good of data. Like, there's gonna be sites like Zillow, which are free, Redfin, which is free. There's sites like PropStream, which is paid, but it pulls data from the MLS to find comps like this. However, the MLS is kind of like where everything is at, where everything is pulled from, like all the information on Zillow, on Redfin, on PropStream, and on any other service that you can think of that has this MLS data, it's pulled from the MLS. So like the MLS is the most updated and the most like current data. So that's why the MLS is really the best source to calculate ARV or get comps for properties. And that's why like, that's one of the biggest benefits of having your license, being a realtor, is just having the MLS data to find the best possible comps. So for me personally, like I don't have my license as a realtor anymore. I'm licensed, I'm an agent, but I'm not a realtor. And once you're a realtor, you get access to the MLS data. And I don't have that anymore. But what I do have is PropStream. So it's a service that I pay for and I pay for it because I'm not a realtor anymore. And I need the MLS data to determine certain things. Um, so if someone sends me a deal and I have to analyze a deal, I just go to PropStream, which pulls data from the MLS for me to get good comps to figure out, okay, what's the ARV of the home? And I use PropStream essentially to help me calculate my max offers because 
to calculate my max offers, I gotta know what the ARV is. Like, what's it gonna be worth after fixing up? So I use PropStream for that reason, and the MLS is definitely better than PropStream. Like, it has all the pictures available for all the properties right away, and all the data is current and accurate. PropStream, like, it pulls the data, but oftentimes, like, the pictures are missing them. I have to go to Zillow to find the pictures, and it, it kind of gets, it's kind of cumbersome, to be honest. Um, so MLS is the best for that if you want to get your license. Like, that's probably the most important reason to have the MLS or get your license is to have access to the MLS. So that's number one. The second top reason, I guess, why you could get a license and why it would benefit you would be to get commissions. So as a realtor, you could represent yourself for your own flips and for your own purchases, especially if you're going to be buying on the MLS. But as a realtor, if you wanted to list your homes, like after you fix it up, and you didn't want to have another realtor to list it for you because you know that you have to pay them commissions if they list it for you, and you can just list it yourself. Even though you do have your license, and yes, you absolutely can net more profit on every single property just by listing the property yourself, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily a great idea, and here's why. If your real goal is to go into real estate full-time, like you want to flip houses full-time, you want to wholesale full-time, you want to buy rentals full-time, like if you're gonna be licensed and you're gonna be representing yourself on all your deals, like all your flips or whatever to resell, it takes a lot of time. So if you're gonna be representing yourself on a resell, like you list your own properties, it takes time to list those properties because you have to, like there's a lot of documentation that's involved. And I know because I was a realtor, but there's a lot of documentation involved with selling a house on the MLS with a realtor. And if you're gonna be that realtor, you have to be okay with that. And if your time is gonna be spent listing your house and dealing with um, the buyers coming in, like, you know, talking and like doing realtor stuff, then your time and attention is gonna be pulled away from your actual investing. And if you're okay with that, like, then that's perfectly fine. Like, get your license. I think it would really benefit you in that case. However, if you know you eventually want to scale your real estate investing business, then I don't think it's a good idea to use your license to represent yourself on your house flips. And the reason why is you need your time to kind of like work on the big picture of your business, your real estate investing business, right? And this is something that I had to go through actually. Like I was a realtor myself for two years, two, three years. And during the time I was a realtor, I did represent myself on my own listings and I was super pumped. I was like, yeah, I got, I got more money on every single deal. Like this is the best possible thing to do until I realized I was like, why can I not scale? Like, why is it so hard for me to scale? And the reason was is because all my time was being sent, spent on my listings. Like I was trying to list my own properties. I didn't like it that much. So it took me more time to like get all this paperwork, send it to the buyer's agents. I'm like, hey, like fill out all these paperwork and I had to wait for them and continually follow up to get this paperwork signed. And like that process alone is kind of hard. Like this this is why people have transaction coordinators, like people to help help with that. The reason I was like, I, I want to scale and I wanted to scale the investing not my realtor side. Like I didn't like the realtor stuff that much personally. Because I wanted to scale, I realized, okay, like, like just getting a little bit extra commissions didn't help my overall goal. Like my overall goal is to scale my investing and, and being a realtor and representing myself wasn't doing it. If that's not your goal, especially at the very beginning, you might be really happy getting the extra commissions, which I was until I ran into that problem of like when I was trying to scale. So that's another benefit, but it's like a very, I want to give that cautionary tale of like, it could be a downside too. So the benefits commissions, the third benefit that I could think of, and this is probably the weakest pro that I could think of, was that it gives you some type of credibility if you have your license. Not to all people, to be honest, but a lot of times when someone has a real estate license, the sellers or buyers or agents or whoever, they'll see you as a little bit more credible, a little bit more trustworthy because you do have to take some ethics classes and you have to like, you have to go through the process of like being held to a higher standard. However, I will say from my experience working with a lot of agents and being an agent myself, a lot of agents suck. Like they're really bad, they're unethical. And I'm like, dude, like what's the point of taking all these ethics classes if you're gonna be like this? Um, so a lot of people do see people with licenses as a lot more credible and it could help you in the long run, but like it's the weakest benefit I could think of. Like, because a lot of people think the opposite. That's kind of like me. Like I actually, a lot of the agents, I'm really skeptical at first. <laughs> whenever I, whenever I first meet an agent now, I'm just like, okay, like what do you do? What's your specialty? And I'm trying to get a sense of like, are they actually good or are they not? 
and 90% of agents are not good. And the reason why is like you see, there's only a certain amount of homes on the market. Like there's maybe this amount of homes on the market, but there's this many agents. And if there's this many agents and only this many homes, you realize, okay, like this many, like this many agents suck. The only good agents are like, there's only a few good agents like to do all these listings. Cause you realize a lot of these agents, like some of them are doing multiple deals, multiple transactions. So like there's probably only like a few handful of agents doing all the homes of all those listings. The rest, they're really bad. And I'll be, I'll just be super straight, straightforward with you. Like that's, that's how it is. It could help you build credibility, but it could not as well. So, so those are the three benefits that I could really think of. And really it's, it's only kind of like two main benefits in my opinion. Like there's the using the MLS to determine ARV to get better comparable homes to look at all the recent solds. And there's also just extra commissions, but which could also be a downside. So those are like the two main ones I could think of off the top of my head. And hopefully that serves you. Also, also if you want help to grow a real estate business, go to futureflipper.com for a free consultation. Peace.